Welcome to chapter two video lecture or chapter 22 video lecture series. This is video one of three on transfer pricing. And in today's lecture or this first video, we're going to go through kind of just an intro to transfer pricing and a couple of the basic principles of transfer pricing. So specific, specifically, we're going to say, kind of answer what is transfer pricing overall? So what are transfer prices? Why are they important? How do they affect different divisions? And then last, how do they affect taxable income? So this is what we're going to look through or discuss overall through the next three videos. Uh, in this video, we're really going to focus on kind of this first item. What is transfer pricing? So the basic principle is we're going to say we have two divisions, division one and division two, and these divisions are both part of the same company. Well, some instances, division one might actually sell goods to division two. So imagine this is we are Toyota. And Division 2 is the uh, car division, and Division 1 are the, the, is the tire division. Well, Division 2 actually sells finished cars, but one of the components on those cars are tires. So Division 2, they can go outside to some tire vendor and buy tires. Or Division 1 that makes tires can sell the tires to Division 2. So Division 2 can go external or they can buy internal from Division 1. And so transfer pricing just says Division 1 is going to sell those tires to Division 2 at what price? This price that goods are transferred to within a division, that is the transfer price so it's the same thing all it is it's the same as buying externally but instead of buying externally the division two would buy internally and instead of say a market price from an external vendor they buy at the transfer price so the basic definition is the amount charged when one division of an organization sells goods or services to another division and the big thing to remember is we always want to take the look at first how, say we have our two divisions, division one, division two. We want to say what is best, not for the individual divisions, but what is best for the company overall. That's the important thing. And then we want to look at, well, how could division one, how could these transfer prices make each individual division act separately? So we want to see transfer pricing, how that might influence the two different divisions managers to act. And overall, what can we do to make this transaction the best for the company? So be sure that you remember that we're always going to focus on what's best for the company overall, not the individual divisions. So let's do a quick example. Here is Dow Chemical Company. Uh, they do a lot of stuff. Um, they purchase much of, its, much of the raw materials in bulk from other chemical companies. One chemical, T-Bar, is prepared in one of its own plants, and it's shipped to other Dow plants at a specific internal price. So the adhesive plant requires 10,000 barrels of this chemical T-bar per month, and it can purchase it outside the firm for $150 per barrel. The T-bar plant can make 20,000 barrels per month, and it's presently selling all their capacity, all 20,000 barrels, uh, outside to buyers at $165 per barrel. So we have the adhesive plant. We'll just say call that adhesive division. And they want to buy T-Bar 
Then we have the T-bar division, and they sell T-bar. So that's the basic thing that's happening right now. And this division currently buys it at 150 per barrel, and T-bar division currently sells it at 165 per barrel. And then here's T-bar's costs per barrel. It looks like about $95 total. So let's move forward. It said, how sh or should the adhesive unit purchase T-bar from the T-bar division or from the outside firm? And then based on that answer, what do we think we should set the transfer price at? And then how would that answer change assuming the T-bar division had more capacity? So that's pretty easy. Let's work through it real quick. So the first question, if you're the adhesive unit, well, if you decided to buy internally, you wouldn't have to pay that $150 per barrel that you pay right now. But the firm would still incur $90 of variable costs. So your total savings would be $60. And remember, this is the adhesive unit buying internally, but we're looking from the firm's perspective overall. So by doing this, the firm overall would have a savings of about $60. So let's look at the T-bar division. They currently sell outside for $165 and their variable costs are 90 and they have selling expense for 50. So they con the contribution margin is $70 per barrel. So from the firm perspective, they make $70 per barrel that T-Bar makes and sells. So right now they're making $70, $70 per barrel. And if instead of selling outside, they sell internally, they'll save $60 per barrel. If they change, they'll save $60 per barrel. Well, would you rather make $70 or save $60? You'd rather make 70. So therefore we'd say, well, from the firm's perspective, we'd rather keep making the $70 by selling outside than to switch internally and have a cost savings of $60. So, of course, the adhesive unit would prefer to buy internally because if they can get it at a lower price, but that's not what's best for the firm overall. So, remember, always step back and say, what's the best for the firm? And in this case, they would prefer to make $70 versus save $60. And so, based on that answer, what's the, what's the proper price? Well... The T-bar unit is at full capacity. There's an outside market. The best transfer price they could use is $165. So that's saying if T-bar did want to sell to the adhesive unit or the adhesive unit did want to buy from T-bar, T-bar should charge the other unit this 165 market price. And that's because by charging them that $165 market price, that would make adhesive say, oh wait, I don't wanna pay 165. I'd prefer to pay the normal 150 that I'm paying right now. So by charging the correct transfer price, we see that the adhesive unit would do the best thing, which is to continually buy at 150. But how does that change if all of a sudden T-bar has excess capacity? They have enough capacity to sell externally, the 20,000 barrels externally, plus now the 10,000 units to the adhesive division. How would that change our answer? Well, with that ex excess capacity, now it's worth it for T-Bar to sell externally and internally. Externally, they should still charge their $165 a barrel, but now internally, they should really charge any amount that's over their variable costs, right? Because we don't want them to charge less than their variable costs because 
we wouldn't want T-Bar to show that they're losing money just from these intercompany transfers. So they should make some sort of money. So it should be greater than $90. But we also wouldn't want them to charge over 150 or else the adhesive unit is better off purchasing from outside vendors. So it also needs to be less than $150. So the transfer price should be somewhere between 90 and 150 because this should make both managers happy. Maybe they come together and they negotiate and they say, hey, let's split the difference and let's charge 120. That way T-Bar's making $30 on the sale and the adhesive unit is saving $30 on the sale. Right, but in general, the correct price would be anywhere in between these amounts, and it could be up to some wiggle room, some negotiations between the, the divisions. So in this lecture, really, we've just learned what transfer pricing is. It's the price that one division within a company sells goods at to another division. And then we just kind of learned, hey, we always have to look at this from the firm's perspective. And then we'll get more of how these transfer prices can influence managers' decisions. But the firms always want to influence those decisions in a way that improves the overall firm and doesn't help one division at the cost of another division. So the next lecture, we'll, we'll talk about uh, various types of transfer prices that can be used. And we'll see that it's not always straightforward, that there's some flexibility here uh, to set these transfer prices. All right, we'll see you in the next video.